Inside every autistic person who lashes out when in distress or in meltdown is a frightened, damaged and confused individual, powerless to control themselves, who needs love, compassion and understanding. We should never victim blame. The person on the receiving end of an autistic person's distress behaviour is often left traumatised themselves, and they too need love, compassion and understanding for the hurt inflicted upon them. What we shouldn't do, though, is make the autistic person in distress out to be a bad person, when often they are just a person in need of help. We must separate who a person is in their heart from the things a person wouldn't usually do or say if they were calm. I think one virtue this community lacks is the virtue of forgiveness. I understand why forgiveness is hard when 1. A person finds themselves on the receiving end of an autistic person's distress and 2. A person observes what might appear to be morally questionable or morally reprehensible behaviour. We must at least try though, because judging, smearing and demonising individuals who are vulnerable and still in the process of healing childhood wounds is not going to help anybody. We are still learning. We shouldn't expect people, particularly traumatised autistic people, to have it all figured out yet. Many autistic people hurt people during melt many autistic people who hurt people during meltdown are good people who are determined not to repeat certain destructive patterns one day, and we should give them the benefit of the doubt before we write them off as abusive or bad. I'm not invalidating anyone's experience. If you have been hurt by an autistic person, you matter. What happened to you was real, your pain is valid, and I wish you were never hurt. I'm trying to see both sides here. The person on the receiving end of a meltdown gets hurt and needs love, care, support and understanding. The person who is having the meltdown and who lashes out or explodes during distress cannot control themselves when this happens. They need love, care, support and understanding too, even if their behaviour during these times is shocking and makes them look like a terrible person. They are not terrible people. They often hate themselves for what they do to people. They lose friends, loved ones, and ruin their reputations as a result of their actions they cannot control due to high anxiety. And they would do most anything to be able to stop themselves when this happens. They would not willingly choose the inevitable loss which follows from their meltdowns. None of us want to see people being hurt. But if we, but if we all want the same thing, to stop the hurting, then we must endeavour to understand the core from which the hurting is echoing. Hurt itself. Hurt people hurt people. To achieve this, we must choose empathy, understanding and compassion. Judgment, demonization, and smear campaigns will only cause more suffering, however justified these options may seem.